What's up guys, Jack here, and today we are back for video number two. If you guys haven't seen it already, my video earlier this morning was about Redbubble and how they tweeted that pretty much they made an error and they're going to be getting accounts back and trying to fix the issues of all these suspended accounts going forward. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It'll be linked down in the description. But today we're going to be doing a shop reviews video. Yep, it's been a few days since we did one of these, but I have a lot of shops to review. So we're going to be reviewing four shops today and let's get right into it. All right, so the first shop we're going to be reviewing is Choice Matters 3. I love this banner. Clean, looks really good. So pff, already off to a great start. Joined October 2020. 256 designs so doing pretty good first thing I see off the bat is that you got a Valentine's Day collection so you're on top of your things good stuff you got these nice collections here really good really good I like it and your designs are on a little bit a little bit too much products in my opinion but um, I would probably stick to just like three or four products so your shop looks a bit more organized just like t-shirts masks stickers stuff like that phone cases and all that can get a bit weird but some of these do look like they were meant for like a phone case I'm not even sure what this is on a small blanket I guess a duvet and these I mean that that's a really good image right there but you got some nice designs I like the patterns I like the Christmas themed letters I think that's a good idea I wonder how those did but they actually look really really good so if you made those Whatever you did to get those, those are really good looking designs. But yeah, I would try not to put on too many products in your shop right off the bat. So I would try to just put on like t-shirts, stickers, and things that sell more. Bath mats don't really sell that much. This would probably look really good on a mask. Real quick, we're going to go see what kind of products you do have this design enabled on because that is important too. So 87 products, I believe you can get up to 93. However, if you look at this, there probably are better options like more popular options like a mask or even a sticker that look better than putting it on a bath mat that's just my opinion but bath mats don't really sell so having it on something that sells more and it also looks just as good is a good idea let's go back to your shop now and yeah your designs are looking good obviously you know what you're doing in terms of designs you know to position it on the chest of the shirts and your stickers look really good I like these letters a lot 290 or 256 designs which is good you got a bunch of pizzas my valentine funny designs you know valentine's day designs which are good and yeah the main thing i would say for you is just to be careful on which products you're selecting on your basically the ending page try not to go optimize it seems like these are specifically phone cases so that makes sense but bath mats i wouldn't really do and i would try to stick to things like even yeah even mugs shirts masks stickers try to stick to just a few products so it looks a bit more organized in your shop and when people are scrolling through they're going to be basically not as like all over the place because it's kind of hard to tell what is what sometimes when you have so many products but either way i think you're doing great i think you just need to keep making designs and yeah great job thanks for submitting your shop and real quick before we go, actually, I'm going to go look at your tags because that's important. I just want to make sure you know what you're doing with your tags. Let's go check and coffee right here. Yep, coffee, drink, morning, breakfast, snacks, latte, espresso, milk, sugar, cream, quotes, cute, funny. So you got some relevant keywords in there. You could try to make more keyword pairs like coffee lover, coffee shop. You could try to do more of that, but it seems like you know what you're doing. You're not tag spamming, which is really good. And this is definitely a big niche, so this niche is going to be hard to rank for anyways. But yeah, good stuff, and let's go to the next shop. So here we are on the next shop, Venus Ian or Venus Ian. I don't really know for sure. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but your banner's looking really clean. You could put some products here and maybe center this over here, but honestly, I think your banner looks pretty good. And then join November 2020, 259 designs, so already pumping out a lot of designs. That's actually really good too. You got some nice collections here, Delusional, Gradient, Postmodern. So it looks like you kind of have an arts like a really good a theme in your shop I'm assuming I'm assuming you make most of this yourself and honestly it looks good I like how you have greeting cards that are actually formatted correctly most people do not I didn't for the longest time so good on that and it looks like you also have a lot of different products in your shop I would probably try to go for like I said just three to four different products because it does look a bit crazy this I'd probably just put on a normal t-shirt because it's uh 
you know, these are also expensive items. So when people see $100, they're also kind of drawn away from it. So masks, stickers, and t-shirts usually are a lot cheaper. And they're also the ones that sell the most. So I would definitely go those three. And this is a cool little tapestry. But but um, yeah, I definitely would just go stick to three or four different products. Don't go too crazy. These masks and t-shirts look really good but all these designs would probably look really good on masks like these pattern designs and mask pattern designs sell like crazy so you're even going to be making more sales that way but i like how you have a lot of pattern designs and you kind of have a little like a different feel to your shop it feels like a lot more homemade stuff a lot more things that you have basically put some time into which i really like good sticker packs i really like sticker packs i think these are awesome so definitely keep up the sticker packs and I yeah I would just say basically change your products on here to just like three or four don't get too crazy and real quick let's go take a look at your enabled products on one of these pattern designs maybe and let's go see what your tags are looking like so $73 for a pillow I didn't know pillows were that expensive and it's only the cover which is quite expensive but that does look really cool and it's front and back so honestly I'm sure someone would buy it and 56 products so definitely enable more products want to see which products you have it on so t-shirts you might as well put it on all the shirts even if, if it's only a square because um you know people will still buy it if they like it and it doesn't really hurt you and you can just rank for more stuff see the mask looks really good even the fitted mask which not many people are basically optimizing for it looks really good because it's a pattern so i would definitely enable this on masks um in the product listing area and yeah, definitely enable more products. I'll make sure you get all these shirts. So there's 12 different shirts. Usually you only have three selected. Make sure you get all of them for all your designs and enable like up to 93 products. Even the jigsaw puzzles, why not? Uh, you don't have to do the jigsaw puzzles, but the more products, the better. And yeah, thanks for submitting your shop. Let's go to the next one. So the next shop is Milk A Sweet or Milk A Sweet. I'm not exactly sure, but I really like the banner. Looks clean and simple logo of a cat. 318 designs joined August 2020, so a good amount of designs, 300, lots of masks, I like the mask collection, people are buying masks right now, this is a great idea to have a separate collection for them, and these apply to a lot of people, so honestly, really good stuff, and yeah, love the masks, let's keep going, masks, Valentine's Day, craft and art stickers, so you got greetings cards based on different things, but I like that a lot, I like how you actually have the greeting cards once again actually properly formatted which is really good that's going to be making you some sales driving your listings up so good stuff nurse by night coffee junkie by morning i like this design and i like that niche a lot too i actually I'm mixing things with coffee seems to work quite well because a lot of people like coffee but yeah honestly i think this would probably look better on a different product but at the same time it's almost like a little sticker pack which is really cool so i like that a lot and i like how you have all these different stickers I think these stickers look really really good and I like how you kind of repurpose some designs like these ones you I can see you took different elements from them and kind of made them into different niches good stuff you you know what you're doing when it comes to designing once again I would stick to just three or four products for the your shop don't try to get too crazy with blankets and stuff but that's just me I think these would look better on masks and you could then put them in your collection and double check that basically you have them enabled on everything so when we go down here 87 products you have it enabled on pretty much everything but you're going to also see here when you do do it on a on a bed sheet so if someone's looking for a bed sheet they're going to find your design yes but if you have it on a mask then you have all these on masks you have even more chance to sell masks and masks are going to sell a lot more than a 140 dollar bed cover in my opinion so that's why i would just go with cheaper products that also sell more back to your shop though it is looking really good i do i do think you have a lot of great designs here it looks like you know what you're doing in terms of designing finding those niches and getting those best sellers is a hard task but it looks like you are still uploading designs and i see some little trending <laughs> niches here and there but yeah sticker packs really good you got greeting cards which is really good and if you can just make sure you enable all your products and all these designs use the main products which are masks t-shirts and stickers you're going to be good and when we scroll down 275 favorites so you're doing pretty good i like all your designs i think they look good and yeah just keep making designs i would say make sure you are optimizing your product listing basically so it shows the a good image of a popular selling product 
And yeah, that's all I really got to say. Keep uploading designs and thank you for submitting your shop. All right, the fourth and final shop of today is Luca Does POD. So honestly, I don't really like the banner, but <laughs> you could get a little creative there and the image could be a logo. So it's very, not very uh, shop like. However, it doesn't really mean a big deal uh, in the end if you have good designs and people are coming to your shop. But I would try to make it a little bit more uh, shop like and professional. That's just my opinion. 38 designs. Obviously, I would try to get more designs up. Maybe not this second because Redbubble is kind of suspending shops. Uh, still a bit of an error there. But I would get more designs up for sure. Definitely get more designs up. And these designs are looking not that bad. They definitely have a different theme to them. There's not really any text on most of them. They're very, they're kind of just squares of uh, placed on t-shirts. So I would try to make it more of more like not as much squares and if it's going to be like that i would definitely put it on something like the graphic t-shirt all over prints but i would try to make sure your designs are optimized for t-shirts because these squares don't really look the best on t-shirts some of them look okay but i would probably put these on stickers or something else when you're displaying them on certain designs that don't look that great on t-shirts display them on stickers rather than the shirts and you'd be better off because they do look better on certain things like this sloth warrior. It looks pretty good on the t-shirt, but it probably looked better on a sticker. And if it's on a sticker, it's going to be big and bold when someone scrolls by it. I actually really like this design. But if we scroll down here, you have it enabled on 76 products and probably a sticker, I'm assuming. But 76 products, you could have it on more for sure. Make sure you're getting all the shirts in. But yeah, when we scroll down here, the stickers look really good and people will buy these types of stickers. So I would definitely enable these things on stickers and put them on the sticker and the listing rather than shirts because honestly, Redbubble is a huge sticker seller. And if someone buys it on a sticker, it's going to be way more chances to make more sales in the future. So that's my main tip for your shop. But let's go back to your shop real quick. Yeah, I would honestly enable a lot of these on stickers as a default product and keep uploading designs 30 designs is not that many but a lot of them look really good and look really good on stickers so keep uploading designs and keep working on your shop thank you so much for submitting your shop luca and everyone else if you guys want to be in the next episode i do have a pretty long list right now but if you submit your shop down below in the comments i will get to it if i heart it that means it's on the list so yeah submit your shop down below all right thank you guys so much for watching this episode of red bubble shop reviews and like I said, if you guys want your shop reviewed, leave it down in the comments. I will heart it if it's added to the list. But if you made it to this point in the video, please consider smashing the like button and comment down below if you made it here to let me know that you made it here smashed. All right. Let me know that you smashed the like button. And if you didn't smash the like button and you just want to comment, you can do that too. Just comment smashed or whatever you really feel like. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been your friend Jack and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shh.